So I've gone away and um, what I did was um, I mounted my little mouse picture that I coloured in on some gold mirror board and then done a trifold card like so and I basically it's an A4 piece of paper and I've folded it in half and then I folded the front half back on itself again so the plan is then to, to decorate this and to put my little uh, mouse on there so what I did is so that when it opens up is I've actually decorated the back of the card but I only decorated half I had a bit of scrap of this dear Santa paper so that I'm going to put to one side for the moment then I've got for the decorating of my card I've now pre-cut some pieces of paper and I've got my dear Santa paper that I just showed you so that's going on the front piece here then I've got another piece again it's all from this house mouse Christmas paper pack um, another piece which has got little hats and candy cane which is going to go on that inside piece and then I've got this piece here which I've cut up it was a, not, again these were all A4 it had some other decoration in the corner but I've cut it so that it will go in here and then we've got our little mice going to sleep on their little pine cones in the corner so when that's folded up it will look like so and then we'll have our little mouse picture here so I think that will look quite cute okay so I've put some tape on the back and I shall stick these down and then come back okay so the next thing we need to do is put our little image again I've just put double-sided tape on there now don't forget that you only want that on one half because the other half isn't sticking down okay so we're gonna just lift up um, these tapes I'm going to take it off completely this time because I'm just going to kind of do the plonk method so we're literally just going to plonk it down where it needs to go so we're going to place that there I'm actually going to put the side that isn't sticky where I want it to be and then just kind of judge how high etc how far across because what I'm looking for is how far from the top and the bottom I want it and in order to do that what I'm looking at is this gap here but also the gap between here and here to make sure that it looks sort of evenish this kind of gap here if I did it down here this gap here is tiny and this gap's huge and it looks wrong and vice versa in my opinion so I'm trying to center it in between here and then obviously I'm centering it left to right as well so we're just eyeballing that okay uh, I think that looks about right so we just press and it's done there we go so lastly <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the last one one of the last things I want to do and I'm just zoom in is I want to put a little piece of ribbon so I've just put um, um and I'm just going to put it on the corner I've put just a pop dot on the back here and I'm just going to put it on the corner of my little image here okay and then finally one more thing is I did say earlier I wanted to put just a little bit of stickles and that has to be the last thing you do really because otherwise it's wet and you're stuck so I just wanted to put a little bit of stickles around the brim of his little Santa hat and also on the little bobble and then we'll leave that to dry and let me just zoom you right in so that you can just see that very cute I think that just finishes it off it makes it look a bit fluffy and as you could add some stickles onto these these ones as well and I wasn't going to but I I think I might because I think it would look quite cute with the stickles on on these two as well so it shows through so we're just gonna zoom you in a little bit and we'll just put some stickles on the bobble of his hat and on the rim and this stickles is just crystal ice just a normal irregular crystal one nothing too fancy 
So any kind of glitter glue, sort of clear glittery glue will do. It doesn't have to be stickles. It's just per my personal favourite. Okay, so there we go. And then we just need to leave that to dry. So let me just zoom in so you can see. There we go, look, can you just see the, the shimmer on that? There you go, I think you can just see the shimmer on that now. So when that's closed over, so when that's closed over, that will just shimmer through and look really cute. So, and then on the inside, we've got that Dear Santa. So it, again, it's all finished off as well. Now you could um, put a sentiment that's in here just underneath if you wanted to as well but um, like a Merry Christmas or something like that so I keep saying oh it's the last thing I'm gonna do There's, that stickles was the last this was the last that was the last but I'm just thinking again this is what the, the beauty of craft is as you're working and this is how I work a lot is that as I do things it makes me think of something else and I think it's the last thing and then I think oh yeah but that would look nice so you know let it grow as you think of things let the card grow don't be stuck with what you originally thought of if you think of something extra give it a go you know work twice. it looks horrible you throw it in the bin and you start again okay it's it can be gutting but quite often you can rescue these things anyway um, so I think I'm going to get some sort of message and just work out and try and pop that under there so I'm just going to leave that like that for a minute while I go and find a message I have found the absolute perfect uh, stamp to go in this so now I've found one on here that's going to be absolutely perfect this is a set of stamps that I got from Sarah from Pink Cricut I'll put her website um, where you can purchase these stamps and a number of other sets they're absolutely fantastic they've got some really really nice fun things on them and she's got some really really other um, fun other sets as well um, I don't know if she started designing them specifically for the Cricut uh, or with the Cricut in mind but to me they're very very um, universal things like here it says seasons tweetings and the one that I'm going to use says Merry Chris Mouse um, and that's just on um, the uh, winter fun set she's got I think about eight sets out now anyway so I've picked from that set as I say Merry Chris Mouse so we're going to put him there this would probably be the easier way of doing it let's put him in the middle like so and then I'll get my rocker block and if I put that on that edge then I know where I have got to position it so what I've done there is I've laid the stamp in the right place where I want it to actually stamp then I've put my rocker block up against the edge of that uh, crease of the card so that when I rock I know roughly where I've got to rock and then also I know that the middle line is um, which you won't be able to see but the middle line of my rock block is not by the number three so I should theoretically get it all in the right position that's the theory okay so we're gonna line the middle of my set so the edge of my rock block up with the uh, edge of the card and then I'm going to line my line of my center piece of my rocker block with the number three and then I'm going to rock and what a beautiful image that is let me just um, zoom in for you and you can see and then you'll see why I'm raving about these stamps because they're absolutely gorgeous let me just zoom right in for you look at what I mean that is the first time I've used that stamp I didn't prep it I've done nothing to it I haven't you know um, they always say you should prep them by putting some sellotape or cleaning them off with a baby wipe or anything I literally this arrived um, yesterday I think in the post and I literally just peeled it off and stamped it I've done nothing else to it and look how beautiful it's come out so I think you can see that these are really nice quality stamps okay so now all I've got to do is wait for that to dry the uh, stickles and this card is made and I think that's just a really cute fun card and actually not difficult to make but just
good fun to do. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed making it. And um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.